Ever feel like you're juggling a thousand flaming chainsaws? No, not literally, hopefully. But that's what dealing with multiple debts can feel like. Credit card bills, store cards, that personal loan you took out for that, a uh, regrettable impulse boat purchase. It all adds up and fast. These debts come with different interest rates, due dates, and minimum payments, making tracking it all a nightmare. You end up spending more time managing the chaos than actually chipping away at the debt itself. Sound familiar? Well, there's a financial tool often touted as a lifeline for folks in this situation, debt consolidation loans. But before you dive headfirst, let's unpack what happens if you take the plunge. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the wonderful, weird, and everything in between when it comes to debt consolidation loans. Imagine this. Instead of a three-ring circus of debt collectors and due dates, you have one central act. That's the basic idea behind consolidation. You take out a new loan with a hopefully lower interest rate and use it to pay off all your existing debts. Poof. Multiple payments become one, simplifying your life and, ideally, saving you money on interest. It's like merging all your takeout containers into one, way more manageable pile. Potential perks. The sunny side of Consolidation Street. There are several potential benefits to consider. Lower interest rates. This is the holy grail. If you qualify for a consolidation loan with a lower interest rate than your existing debts, you'll save money in the long run. Think of it as swapping out those flaming chainsaws for slightly less fiery ones. Progress. Simplified repayment. No more juggling due dates and minimum payments. You'll have one monthly payment to worry about making budgeting and tracking your progress a breeze. Improved credit score, maybe on-time payments on your consolidation loan can positively impact your credit score over time. This can be helpful down the line when applying for loans or mortgages. The not-so-sunny side. The shadows of consolidation. Hold on there. Intrepid debt fighter. Consolidation isn't a magic bullet. Here are some potential drawbacks to consider. Temptation Tango. Closing those old credit card accounts after consolidating might seem smart, but it can also impact your credit utilization ratio, the amount of credit you're using compared to your limit. This could hurt your credit score in the short term. The interest rate trap. While securing a lower rate is ideal, it's not guaranteed. If you end up with a higher interest rate on your consolidation loan, you could end up paying more in the long run. Extending the debt runway. Consolidation loans often come with longer repayment terms, which can be a double-edged sword. While lower monthly payments might seem appealing, it means you'll be paying interest for a longer period. So, you're asking yourself, is it right for me? There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Here's a quick self-assessment to see if consolidation could be your debt-fighting champion. Are you struggling to manage multiple debts with different due dates and interest rates? Do you have good credit and a steady income to qualify for a lower interest rate loan? Are you committed to a structured repayment plan and avoiding further debt accumulation? If you answered yes to these questions, then consolidation could be a good option. But remember, it's a tool, not a miracle cure. Consolidation loans can be a powerful tool for managing debt, but it's crucial to understand the potential benefits and drawbacks before taking the plunge. Research different lenders, compare interest rates, and make sure you have a solid plan to repay the loan on time. Remember, Getting out of debt is a marathon, not a sprint. With the right strategy and a little discipline, you can break free from the chainsaws of debt and achieve financial freedom. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.